Hey guys, it's Tammy with Women of Influence. Wow, it has been a powerful week in my life and I wanted to take a moment and just tell you a little bit about it. Last week I had the opportunity to go back to St. Louis and to see my family. My mother is growing in years and she's getting feeble and, and frail and I knew it was a time that could be my last time in seeing my mom, to be honest with you. And so I'd asked my older sister if she would get all of our photos out and I thought it would be fun to sit with my mom and just kind of have a, a memory time. And as I was going through all the photos of myself as a little child, when I reached down into the bin, I was taken back when I found an envelope that said something that really shook me to my core. I found this envelope in the bottom of the bin and on it with this little bit of masking tape said, my story. And I looked at my mom and I looked at my sister and I said, what is this? And my mom said, well, I began writing down my story about 40 years ago because I wanted you girls to know about my story. And it's hard because it was a hard story. My mother was given up for adoption at a young age. My mother was uh, sexually abused as a child. My mother was placed into a home of abuse after that. It was difficult to hear that anyone would go through what my mom went through. The rejection and the abandonment, the pain and the sorrow, that was difficult for me to process. But the hardest thing for me to process was when I got to chapter six. And this is tender to me because it's my mom's handwriting and it's my mom's story. And I said, Mama, what is this? And on it, it says, look to the pit from which you were dug. I couldn't even imagine what that was. And I said, Mom, what, what is this? And she said, well, my mama used to tell me when I did something wrong that I was to look to the pit from which I was dug. I said, well, Mom, what does that even mean? And she said, well, she told me it was a scripture verse. And I said, well, Mom, that, that's not a Bible verse. And she said, but I believed it was. And then I came to chapter 6 in my mom's book. And I read something that took me back, and I actually... Um, I couldn't stop crying, to be honest with you, because in it she said, one day I said to my sweet little Baptist son-in-law, Philip, is that a Bible verse? And if you know anything about my husband and his humor, he looked at my mother and he said, yes, Charlene, I believe it's found in First Bolognians. And we all laughed and didn't think too much about it. But what I didn't realize is that she had written in her book she said, I think I failed to tell Philip that that was the first day that I was set free from the lie of a scripture that I believed was in the Bible that wasn't even true. You see, all of us are living out our story. And I want to ask you right now, are you believing a lie? Are you believing a verse from 1 Babylonians? Are you believing something that you think is of God and it's not? I want to invite you to join us tonight, Monday night, when we come together and we look at the living word. We look at the word of God. Jesus wants to set you free. Jesus wants you to know his word. Jesus wants to breathe life back into your story. Join us tonight as we look into the living word for the living love of our Savior, Jesus Christ.